Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very, very, very special guest, my lovely wife Jen. Hello. <laughs> I thought I'd bring Jen on today because we have some massive news. I'm sure most of you have heard already, but we are having a baby. Woo! Yes, Jen is pregnant. We are so unbelievably excited and we thought we'd do a Q&A today. You guys have asked some questions and kind of wanted to just talk through our feelings and our process and any you know answer any questions you guys have and just have a nice time and talk about babies what do you think i think it sounds great <laughs> all right let's crack on with the first question have you always wanted to be a dad Aww. it's a good question because i was always excited for the time that i would be ready to be a dad so it's not like i grew up like it was never too much in my mind. I mean, I was in a band, you know, you can't, you don't know what tomorrow looks like, let alone planning for fatherhood. So I was always really excited for that chapter. Meeting Jen was the first time I really thought about having a family and having children and getting excited about it and not scaring me like, oh, commitment or losing my, you know, travel or my kind of sense of adventure. And uh, it felt so just exciting knowing with you that like, wow, I can, a vision of family and that excitement and obviously you know through our relationship and you know how we've grown and got married and quarantine happened and all these things have kind of um, got me ready for being a dad and I think losing my sense of adventure last year with COVID mm. kind of made me realize that I love my own time and hanging with mm -hmm. you and I was not like I was always ready to be a dad but now I absolutely am I can't wait it's yeah. I'm so excited yeah oh my gosh you're like I was kind of tearing up there it's oh. really sweet but I agree I feel like last year was the year where you just really refined your routine and if, if anything mm. I feel like having a proper system and being more organized has actually allowed you a lot more freedom. Yeah, absolutely. Because now you have time to, to, to dive into new hobbies, mm. look into new more topics that mm. you've always wanted to study, yeah. like spirituality, mm -hmm. all that stuff. So yeah. I think it's, it's really exciting. It couldn't be better timing. You're gonna be an amazing dad. Thanks, babe. Do you guys think you will want to raise your family both in LA and England? That's a good question. We've spoken about this a lot, haven't we? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I feel like obviously it'd be great if we raised our child in both countries for a period of time. Mm. Um, I feel like exposing our child to different types of cultures and surroundings would be great. And also I think it'd be an amazing experience for, for both of us. Yeah. It's important to build stability and mm. routine. But you know, when our kids like 10 or 11 maybe it's time to go to england for a couple years i think it would be such an enriching experience for all of us yeah i really think like not even just you know to england like to be able to travel and even if it's for a year six months and go mm -hmm. to a school and kind of be thrown out of your comfort zone understand it even though obviously england isn't a much different culture but it's enough for you to grow and learn and adapt your mind because when you meet other people in different worlds and different upbringings mm -hmm. um it does broaden your mind and I would be great to do and obviously you know we live in LA we've got a family here yeah. love it here obviously there is a slight sacrifice with my family yeah. and that that's mm -hmm. a, the sort of sad part but we will travel a lot back and forth to England yeah, I definitely think my family will come over and do some extended babysitting I'm getting to know your roots too yeah I would love to be closer to your family and mm -hmm. your friends and it just makes sense we'll keep you posted mm -hmm. on that so next question will you be teaching your kid Korean Yes. Absolutely. I mean, we'll see how... Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like this is the only way they're going to be able to communicate with my parents. Yeah. I'm really excited for the kid to learn Korean because it'll be a nice refresher for me. Mm. And so we'll be learning together, which I think will be fun. <laughs> yeah, and I think like being able to have, you know, Jen's parents to be that kind of, you know, I'm sure they'll like to teach them. And like when they go see their grandparents, mm -hmm it's kind of it is maybe more korean time and like it's not easier to learn a language when you're young but yeah it is I think actually it is, right? yeah 100 yeah. yeah. they're like just sponges soak it in yeah bilingual bilingual huh again we'll keep you posted on that one as well mm -hmm. so next question <laughs> would you want the little one to have similar career choices as you and jen love you guys it's not that we want them to have similar career choices as us i think we would be very supportive in whatever they want to do we're definitely not gonna try and kind of lead them towards a certain path or anything like that. We're gonna be fully supportive. I'd definitely love to kind of teach them some creative stuff, whether yeah. it's a musical instrument, mm -hmm. obviously drums, <laughs> piano and like kind of learning, getting the creative muscles going. So I think that's important for any child because 
Otherwise you get older and just assume you, you're not creative when that's not true. You just haven't used those muscles. So I think for them to be creative in some way, for sure, but as a career path, it's, they can be who they want, right? Yeah, I think it's important just to see what their natural interests are because they're gonna lean whatever way they wanna lean. Mm -hmm. And we wanna make sure that we're there to observe what their strengths are, what they're good at. Yeah. And once we notice that, we'll just kind of lean them more in that direction. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just beautiful because our child's gonna be whoever they wanna be. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be really exciting to be just fully supportive parents. Right, next question. Are you raising your child the same way your parents raised you? I think it's a situation where I wanna pick and choose what worked with the way my parents raised, mm -hmm. raised me and then omit the ones that didn't. You know, I obviously love the fact that they gave me a lot of agency and independence at a young mm -hmm. age. I also want to incorporate the amount of like routine, especially my mom had. Mm -hmm. She was always home at the exact same time, 6 p.m., always had dinner ready for the table. So that's something that I want to make sure that we're a, a constant in. Yeah, I like that. And especially like a lot of, even sometimes the things that you didn't necessarily like about your childhood mm -hmm. tends to actually be why you are more efficient or whatever yeah. it is. Sometimes, you know, you can find goodness within it. Uh, I think for me, it's, um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a few things I'd love to take from my parents. I mean, my mum wasn't lucky enough when she was a child. She didn't have a very, she didn't have the best um, upbringing and she wasn't able to have much of a social life. And she always said to herself, like, you know, whenever I have a child, I'll make sure they, they get to have a social life. Our house is an open house and mm. we can have friends and everyone come around there and she kept up a promise. We had like a drum shed at the top of the garden. The band would practice when I was a kid and they really did do that. And it really was an open social house. My dad's ability to just be happy in every single moment. It's really interesting to kind of see your childhood and see why you are, why you are. And I think now when I see my parents, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm really acting more like my dad these days. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you do see yourself in them, right? Mm -hmm, 100%. For better or worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I think it's like, I think it's one of the beauties of getting older is recognizing the like these similarities between your, you and your parents, mm -hmm. but also like forgiving the parts that you don't really like yeah. and understanding like, wow, like they're just humans too. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I feel like with, with moms and dads and, and parents, obviously there is like a power dynamic, especially when you're younger as there should be, because you yeah. are the, the, the boss. The boss, mm -hmm. you know, like this kid just got here, you know, we gotta show him the ropes a little bit. Yeah. But as you start getting older and the playing field is more even, you start to really see eye to eye and yeah. that's when you really appreciate everything that your parents have done, yeah. regardless of what it is. Yeah, I think, and for us, you know, communication with our child is, if not one of the most important things, to just have an open communication and maybe we didn't have like, we didn't get to have too much of that, yeah. both of us in our childhood. Mm -hmm. Even so. for me, like to be able to speak to our child with no language barrier, that is crazy. Yeah, exciting. I know. Right, lovely question. Are you secretly planning ways to get the baby to have an English accent? It's chips, bruv. <laughs> it's chips, bruv. Great question. I would love our child to have an English accent, but it's gonna be oh, so hard so being, you know, you are who you surround yourself with and especially at school and their friends and like, it's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna be like, no, it's hello, mate. Hello, mm, mate. You know, water. Father, where's the water? Father, where's the water? Yeah, <laughs> I would love them to have an English accent. Me too. I feel like they're gonna be able to really uh, turn it on and turn it off. Yeah. I feel like they'll be able to mimic. Yeah. And if they could just mimic, that'll be fine. There is perks to having an English accent mm -hmm. over here because people think you're just smarter. I think it's like elegant and like classy. I don't know, it's just more fun. You feel like you're- It's more fun. It it's is more, more fun, fun. <laughs> yeah. There's no things I'm gonna try and push too much on our child except for uh, trying to have an English accent. Mm -hmm. Maybe play the drums. Well, maybe we could play a game where like on Sundays we speak with an accent. English and accent Sundays English and Korean speaking Tuesdays Ooh, or something. Ooh, yeah. Know? When we have a Sunday roast. Yeah. During that lunchtime, we only speak in English accents. I'm rubbish with this, I am. <laughs> Next keep question. Going, keep going. <laughs> what are you most excited to teach or experience with your little jelly bean in the future? A little jelly mm, bean. Little jelly oh. bean. You know what's crazy? I'm actually really excited for when they go to school for their first time. Yeah. Like in elementary school, where like they just oh. have their little backpacks the little pack and lunch. then they're in the back lunch, and then also just like their homework is just like draw a turkey. You know, it's like so, so simple. And then all the math is extremely simple as well. It's yeah. just like basic arithmetic. If they need help with homework, we'll just be like, 
oh, well, three plus two is five, you know? <laughs> it won't last yeah. long, though. I know. Right? By the time they're five, I'll be like, I don't know. You get up, you have to figure out yourself. You yeah. know? Just, <laughs> we're not, I don't know the answer to that. It just takes you back to when you were in elementary, and it was such a pure, innocent time. Mm. So I think that'd be so cute. It'd be so, it would definitely be, be scary to have that level of letting go because it's oh. something you can't control. Like if they get picked on at school or something like that, oh, it'd be heartbreaking. You can't, you know... You can't go shout at the child, know. But, you know, like, <laughs> you got to just be like, uh, so, um, but it's going to be so exciting. I can't wait for that. And I think for me, even the other day we met someone and they had their child there on the street and he has cycle on his little bike. And, uh, and for me, that was like playing outside was one of the biggest, like, that's all I can remember from my childhood and that aspect, you know, taking their first ride mm -hmm. on their bike and, uh, I can't wait for that, even just to be a kid again and just play hide and seek and not feel weird because you're 35 years old <laughs> doing it. You know, you're a dad now. So <laughs> every little moment from their first words, their first walk mm -hmm. to their first, all these things are just such big milestones. So I'm already obsessed with the baby and it hasn't hasn't popped out yet. <laughs> too much. In due time. Your thought process when unwrapping her present. That was crazy. I was just working and you were like, Are you busy? Because yeah. you were editing something for a brand. And this was like literally maybe like 45 minutes after I had just found out I was pregnant. And I was freaking out, obviously. The first question that I asked Google was, How do I tell my partner I'm pregnant? Which is bizarre. But you know what? I just like to no, have options. I, yeah. I'm always asking ridiculous questions. But luckily it was like, the end of December, so I had a bunch of wrapping paper left. So it was just like this crumpled tissue paper with a bow. And I was like, okay, I gotta give it to him, you know? You were definitely like, there was something up. And you look emotional, but you could just see Jen was really trying to hold something together. And you're like, I got your present. And I was like, this is, why is she, you know, welling up at giving me a wallet or whatever it would be? Like, uh, and I was kind of, to start with, I was just a bit confused. And then you gave it to me in like the, the kind of paper. And mm -hmm. as I got kind of halfway through, I was like, wait, why does this look and feel like a thermometer? And, uh, and I could just see Jen started to kind of well up. And I was like, oh my God, this is, this is it. I said, like, she's pregnant. And as I, as I thought it and opened it and saw the two lines, oh, it was, it may be the best moment of my life. That, that feeling and that moment, because we've spoken about it and I like kind of surrendered to the idea of like, I'm gonna be, hopefully, with things go to plan, I might be a dad soon. And it was just pure excitement and no no fear and no worry anymore. And it was just, oh, it's the best feeling in the world. It really was. And it was so emotional just holding you. And it was, and I know, and I know that Jen, you know, processing news like that, you, you it's not in your, your DNA, your blood, whatever it is to kind of be able to just be super excited about something straight away until you can know how you can kind of plan for it and, you know, figure that side mm -hmm. out and with a baby you can't. So I knew that it was going to be a process for a little bit, but you mm -hmm. came like the first what, week or two weeks. It was tough for you. It was just like a, a, it was a wobbly January. Wobbly, wobbly, yeah, wobbly, wobbly, wobbly January. And then it was like good, sure. and then kind of yeah, like, it was like a yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> bumpy roller coaster. I know, but I think that's why it makes sense that pregnancy is like nine months. It's really long, and I realized yeah. that with each month, I've been getting a lot more confident yeah. about the situation and yeah. more. Uh, accepting of it mm. and then excited so it's uh it's it's insane if i could go back to the gen where she first found out she was pregnant oh i would just be able to really really reassure her mm. well she's done good she's done very good and it's amazing Thanks. to see how much you're improving every day and uh and just how ready we're getting you know i think mentally and physically we're kind of feeling more and more prepared. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Love it. Do you think Cheeky knows what's going on? Well, let's ask her. I don't think she's clocked on just yet. Yeah. But she's going to be very jealous. She will. She will. Because even when we give her a fuss and we stop giving her a fuss, you know, she gets a bit jealous. And I, she hasn't really spent much time with babies. So no. she's going to be like, what is this? What is this? Is this another dog? What is this dog? And why are you giving it so much attention? <laughs> a lot of people say like when you have a a dog for a little while they get a bit jealous and they mm. become my best friends so i can't wait for the you know for the baby and for cheeky to play and just oh 
You'll be a great big Thank sister, you. you. Well, you're gonna be a big sister. But even just having Cheeky and having, you know, knowing we're about to have a baby, it really feels like a family, it you really know? It really does. You like me? Yeah, yeah, you're part of the family, Chippo. You silly mongoose. Yeah, you're the little baby. <laughs> so last question. What's a trait of each other you want your child to inherit from you guys? Mm. Oh, it's a good question. Good one. Oh, what would you think, babe? I think I would love them to inherit. Obviously, it's a lot of things. It's a long list of things I want them to inherit from you. Oh, from um, me? I thought you were talking about yourself. No, no all right. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple on my end, I can think. But obviously, like... From the jump, I, I hope they have like your easygoing naturedness um, just to kind of go with the flow. I feel like with life, there's just so much change and flux that happens. And I feel like one of the most happy ways to live is just to surrender and 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 let it be. And I feel mm -hmm. like you've always been so good at like being quick with your feet and being extremely adaptable and flexible with whatever's happening That's around great. you. So I hope that they have that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I agree. That's something that I really took from my dad, mm. from his easygoing nature and mm -hmm. just, uh, you know, it is, you know, it's not what happens in life that define us, it's how we react to it. And that's um, something I'd love to put into our child. But to be able to have that, but also to be able to have like your caring nature and your efficiency and your like routine and your kind of your drive and have that aspect for them to be just an all round like good human being who's who's organized that your motherly nurturing will be unbelievable because you're so detailed, you're so caring, you're so thoughtful and you put things into action, you plan things, you're, every part of you to put into a child would be incredible, especially with that, your looks as well. No, I, <laughs> stop. Yeah. I mean, what if it's, I mean, thank you. I mean, I feel like if, if we had, if we had all those qualities, this, this, our baby will be a superhuman. Cause it's so hard for anyone, for any child to have both such an easygoing nature, but also super efficient and detailed mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, it's very hard to have both. But, it's like um, a yin yang. They're like is. direct opposites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think with, you know, us showing the goodness in both, uh, and I think we'll be able to have a good balance from them being efficient, but also giving time for them to be present and meditate mm -hmm. and have fun and be able to have that release because maybe I didn't get enough structure as a childhood and maybe you didn't get enough chill, easygoing, or whatever mm -hmm. it is, um, but we can give that to our child. If they get the worst of both of us, then we're screwed. Oh God. But let's make sure that doesn't happen, <laughs> <you know? laughs> That's true. I mean, we're gonna try our best, and I feel like that's yeah. all we can do as parents. We're yes. obviously not perfect, so we're gonna fuck up on the way, mm -hmm. but we're gonna try our damned best. We're trying best. our best, all right? Also as well, before we leave, like, all the comments and everyone's love and support you guys have put out to us has been unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Like really, like we try not to kind of define ourselves through, you know, the words of others because, you know, happiness comes from within, but it feels amazing hearing like so much support, so much love, like it feels even more real now, you know, know. like that everyone knows and especially for you, right? Yeah, it's like interesting because I, the day that we announced, it was literally like a flood of support. And yeah. oh, I don't know, I was absolutely elated. Also, just for a little life update, the video that is posted on my channel, which is the same day that this video is coming out, we filmed that video a week ago. Uh, so yeah. we had, we that was like before we had publicly announced, but I was bulk filming because we've moved house. We're yes. in a new house. We're in a new house. So it's like, it's been exactly a week from filming the one that, the from the video that's on my channel. Yeah, which so, also the reason why I didn't post last week mm -hmm. because uh we were moving house and uh we were being you know a lot to plan for a lot to prepare and again even going through parenthood like jen was able to kind of finish your bulk workload and i mm -hmm. packed the boxes and we managed to move and we again put our strengths together and we're in our new house we're so happy with it we're obviously just trying to get everything set up now but you know i let jen kind of show it off and you can see one of the walls here it's a lovely wall um but yeah that's a, a new update that uh will kind of fill you guys in so uh yeah it's all happening 2021 it's go 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 isn't it It really is wow so guys thank you again so much for uh for listening to us chat and thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't do it now and uh we'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys bye, bye.